Hello, and welcome back to Blasphemous. Uh, I have received a bunch of pretty good stuff over the couple of days that it's been since I've last played this. So let's start by checking what hearts we have available. This one was better parry, which I don't really care about. Um, I get lifesteal, but my potions are less effective. That's kind of nice. All the hearts have trade-offs, um, generally, and they can only be equipped at a mea culpa at a Priya Dio Shrine. Uh, okay, more damage but less defense. Hmm. Or more fervor generation but attacks based on blood are weaker, which I assume is my range attack, which I don't even know if I have. Let's grab that. Okay. So I've got a bunch of options here. Probably going to go with Knot of Hair because it just increases my strength. What was I using before? Increase fervor with attacks. So not a pair. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here I particularly care about. Uh, I do have the weight of true guilt. That's uh, important to notice. And of course, I'm going to keep move speed on for pretty much the entire game. Okay, we're going to equip all these. Boots of Pleading. So the relics are incredibly important items that let you get more access to things. Boots of Pleading is a a mod. This relic did not exist in the base game, and what this does is it uh, protects me from the instant death effect of spikes. I've never actually used this, and, and honestly I don't really know how many spots it'll be useful in, but I, I'm curious to see if I can make something happen with it. I know that in Hondo, which is one of my favorite zones in the game, there's a spot where I can think of a skip I could use it for. I'm not going to worry about that. Here, uh, Tanto to your Thorned Hairs was fun to try out a new thing, but we have Zaravanda of the Safe Haven, which is, in my opinion, the best spell in the game, best prayer in the game. So we're just gonna go with that and be uh, lazy and boring. And so with all that in mind, you see, I actually don't have that much stuff unlocked on my map. I thought I'd have more. Now let's just grab this one down here because it's uh, an isolated check, and then we will go beat this boss. Okay, those guys are only taking three hits instead of four. Okay, somebody did send me dash. Excellent. I was too slow. It's fine. Yeah, and we can see all of this is now showing as in logic, so I wasn't, I didn't quite remember if killing the boss would uh, change that or not, but change what's on the map, but it looks like the, it tracks logic as to whether or not you're supposed to be able to kill a boss. So let's give this a go again. Now that we have the good spell, I don't even know if we have any damage upgrades with default as well, but we should be doing much more damage on this guy now. Slide under him. He does that attack. Do this again. Oh, whoops, I thought I had jumped there, but. Ah, let's just drink a potion. Yeah, pretty easy. Grab the reward. EPD. And that gets us into the Desecrated Cistern. So from here, there's some stuff we can do. Um, interesting.
I'm not entirely sure how I get through there, but um, so one of the the two gimmicks of this place, you have these kind of falling sludge you have to dodge, and then you got this muck you have to wade through, which is really annoying. Bucket for a Minecraft? I guess that's probably useful. Oh, can't grab the ledge on the, the left side there. Build two hits to kill those. I don't think I have a lot of damage upgrades then. Uh, can I go left? No. Because I do not have a silvered lung of uh, Dolphus. Not really any reason to kill you. But you're here, so I will. Uh, also, I got a ton of uh, Tears of Atonement, I just noticed. So I can buy out the shop when we get to it, which I think is just right here. Uh, I do have Dive. Nice. Uh, I also have lunge. Good. Oh, that Geo Rock for a thousand. Still not worth it. And yes, that's all clear. Uh, there's stuff up here I could do still. We'll teleport back for that once we're done with uh, the rest of the cistern. All right, so those um, coughing enemies that uh, ring a bell, they're the ones that summon the exploding zombies. So with them dead, the exploding zombies won't, won't appear anymore. Uh, that's a per room thing. I thought that was a bad idea as I was doing it. Second attack, I interrupted my attack animation, I guess. So yeah, get rid of all those zombies. They're annoying. Piece of heart. Okay, with that done... Ah. So under the gimmick of this zone is this Miasma stuff here, and I don't think I can get through that. There's a guy down there summoning... Summoning zombies. 
Oop, I missed, missed the ladder. Oh no, it's because I took a hit. Shoot. I'm having trouble with this. Well, I'm gonna die here. Okay, we made it up. Uh, this is not great, though. My spell... not super good against uh, the shield enemies. In fact, it's kind of annoying against them because it sort of stuns them so they don't attack you. Alright, so looking at this, chest is not in logic, but the other thing is. I wonder. Yeah. Okay, I do have a, I do have a range attack. I guess that's how we get this one. No? That's not looking good. Um, other options. I'll do this. I don't have enough. I don't have enough fervor. That's unfortunate. These enemies aren't going to respawn. Okay, I guess I just don't get that. I have to get up there again. Let's go fix our more immediate problem here, which is that we're about to die. Uh, refill empty biliary vessel, yes. We'll keep doing this as long as it lets us. Okay, that's it. So we were sent two potions. Yeah, I don't have the ability to get up there. You have nothing to say. So I need to, unfortunately... Okay, that took way longer to fire than I was expecting it to. I just need a little bit of fervor. That should do it. Easy. I already killed all the enemies, so I don't have to worry about that. Save the Queen Plus. So knowing which of your spells can do what is important as far as uh, accessing the uh, Children of Midnight specifically. Okay, and with that, I guess there is that up there we could go for. You know what, since we're here, this is a thing I had to skip earlier, let's just clean it up. Yeah, I'm just right here anyway. Now that I have my dash. And then continue with the cistern.
All right, and from here, there's just the three, three checks that are available. This one. So that secret opened because I, uh, I hit the ground from a great height, which does a small amount of damage in an AoE around you. It's kind of weird. Same as casting spells. And then there's this room. If I fall in that Miasma, it'll not be good for me. Miasma is not instant death. In fact, I think I'm about to demonstrate how, how it damages you. Um, but it does... well, maybe not. I should be able to... yeah, I have a dash. Wave Beam. Oh, that's important, isn't it? Yeah, so it's not instant death, but it does damage you repeatedly while you're in there. You have like a second of grace before it starts to really hit you. And that's it for the Cistern. Alright, so... I guess we go back to town. At this point, we're basically done everything that we were able to get at this point. Uh, I've never played Super Metroid, despite being a big fan of Metroidvanias, like Blasphemous. But I assume the wave beam is really important for access to things. Let me just kill you and open the shortcut. Since we're coming from this direction and we get to kill the summoner right away, this entire room is now safe. Well, relatively safe. Okay, I don't think we went in here before, but I do have Quicksilver. Bring me the Quicksilver and upgrade my flasks. So my healing potions are now better, but I have fewer of them. Uh, do I have more Quicksilver? Having um, multiple potions of higher value is way more useful than having a ton of potions of low value. So I'm going to... Upgrade that where I can, but I like to have at least two potions, so I won't go below two. Alright, Ossuary. How many bones have I received? Every four is a check. Maybe two or three, depending on how many out of four I had previously. Piece of heart, our star. Okay. Just cleaning up the town hub. I have enough tiers now to do this. Get my last upgrade. Piece of heart. Uh, so these shrines. In the vanilla game, every time you touch one of these shrines, anyone, you upgrade the damage of your sword and gain access to more upgrades. Uh, in this, the sword damage upgrades are just random items, but now um, I need to access a bunch of those shrines to get access to more shop things that I can give out. Uh, and the healers here want the herbs, so I can find the knees. You know what? Uh, okay, something or other. Muse dash. Strong. Traveling Merchant Stock Size? Okay. I don't know if that's actually necessary, but it's useful. Oh, right. So I don't have anything more, but this guy now does tell you what my goal is to win the game. My goal is ending C, which is the hardest ending to get. You must collect all Thorn upgrades and the Holy Wound of, Ab wound of Abnegation, then defeat His Holiness Escriber. Okay, we will get on that. Now over here... I think I had more of Tintudia's remains sent to me. Yep, skeletal remains. And that was the last one. Okay, I've already got already got all of them. And the church is now open. What do you have to say? Biscuit, right. I don't remember how useful that is. So if we check, uh, I was going to say, if we check in the map, but I'll have to show it after when I'm outside of the building, I guess. Here, we're going to make a donation of 5,000 tiers. Not 
that'll get us a check. There's a second check for 50,000. I will remember how much you've donated, so I only have to do 45 this time. But I don't want to do some of that and lose track of where I am. 50 rupees, okay. So 45,000 tears will get me a biscuit for somebody. Church donation, 5,000 I've done. 50,000. Uh, oh, and then this is actually showing as in logic. Okay, well, I don't think I'm getting that today. But um, it's good to remember that it's there. And then Cleophas' final gift. I haven't met Cleophas yet, so I can't get that. I had... No, I didn't. Okay, so let's not go in there. That's... Oops, that's a waste of time. But we can go this way. Because there is a check I can get out in this direction. Didn't quite have the timing on my parry right on that one. execute you, and it's the next one. Okay. Next screen over. Really? Fine. I'll just kill you. So I did have... this. Blood perpetuated in sand. That allows me to go across the blood platforms. Oops, I waited too long and it despawned. It's fine. And I think if I keep going this way, well, we'll go to the... Trying. But let's just go this way. Increases my damage tremendously. Port over here. And that is in logic. Wait, why is this not in logic? Oh, because this. The initial room cherub. Hmm. So I have the. Um, I guess I can show this. Tutorial section. Which you can't get into without dash. This spacebar is your jump button. Uh, so I do have the other relic, the three gnarled tongues, which makes these uh, vines grow. Oh, the reason this isn't in logic is because I don't have wall climb yet. Okay. Maybe I should hint for wall climb. I don't think I've hinted an item in this game yet. And this randomizer is so much better with uh, dash and wall climb, not in logic, because by default, this is actually a trap. You have to do it that way to get through fast enough. You can't climb the ladder all the way. Uh, by default, this game um, lets you have access to like 45% of the game with just your starting inventory. Okay, if I fall here, I will die. So let's not fall. This, Sam Hart. Uh, I need the incomplete scapular to open that door. And the boots of pleading will do nothing for me in the uh, mist here. Okay. So what does that leave then as far as checks go? I have this thing still. Which I'm a little bit confused about. Wait, I have an idea. I can't get out of here. 
Is it possible to run from the top there and jump across? There's no other way to get down here. Right, like this is a one-way passage from bottom going up. Can't get down here because it's a one-way passage from down going up. Which means that it's got to be this, right? Hmm. Let's um, finish up the other stuff that I know I can do. And then we'll come down to that. Uh, it's the very last thing that we do. Right, it's this button. I can see that there's a ledge here. Let's fall to that. And since I have blood perpetuated in sand, I can now grab this. Emblem. Cool. That's just the room I skipped over here that's left. Okay, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get through that. Too many enemies. And I wasn't taking the time to kill them, which, you know, I do need 50,000 or 45,000. Alright, so we have access to this now. Because we have... I guess I'll get rid of speed briefly. We have the weight of true guilt. we destroy the Confessor statue, we can now no longer pray at it to get our uh, Guilt Fragment back. But if we have Weight of True Guilt equipped, we can do a Confessor dungeon. And these are... just little combat arenas. Demonstrating uh, that, I guess. The uh, spell does break projectiles. It's pretty nice. attack animation, for whatever reason... Nope, it actually seemed fine there. I thought there was a slower... Um, like, missing frames or something. It, it looks kind of funny. Oh. It's just random whether or not that triggers an execution. Ow. Okay, let's see our new improved healing potions working pretty well. Also does. More damage. One more? No, no, that was it. Okay. Progressive stim pack, sure. coin. Okay. Yeah, wasn't too bad. Those get a lot harder. And put on the moose feet again. So how you get the uh, weight of true guilt in the vanilla game is actually kind of funny. Uh, it was something that I definitely did not figure out on my own. 
so I'm debating whether or not to spoil it here, but I'm assuming anybody watching a randomizer is okay with spoilers. Um, right, so we're gonna try oh, coming from the top. So there's an item you get called the Immaculate Bead, and it actually kind of has a funny effect. If you die while you have the Immaculate Bead equipped, then you don't leave behind your Weight of Pure Guilt. Instead, the bead gets slightly tainted. And if you do that three times, the bead basically stops working and you get the, the Weight of Pure Guilt item instead. So in order to actually do that, you are forced to die three times in order to get any of the Confessor Dungeon checks, which are not required for the uh, the basic ending. It's like the worst possible time. I was wanting to execute them, and then my spell just killed them instead. Darn it. There we go. Okay, so somehow I can supposedly get through here. Ah, hair stall. Okay, first try. Nice. Uh, I don't need an hair stall for that one because I have the. Uh, the, uh, the potter's wheel giving me extra movement. Well, I'm pretty happy that I, uh, I found a solution for that. So even without wall climb, I can still get past there. Alright, time for the fight with Perpetua. Oh, that was a fight. She's not even worthy of uh, boss status. No available offerings. Okay, can't do that yet. Doesn't even get a health bar or anything. We jump down here. Hello, Rodento. Yeah, can't go. Can't go that way. So we made it to Hondo. I wonder if I can make it to my first. Um, Not in logic, is it? Eastern entrance ledge, okay. No, because I can't climb. So Hondo is a giant bell. Uh, this is the first zone in the game that really impressed me. I really like this sound. It's just really cool. Alright, so grab the movement speed bonus. Unfortunately, I don't have wall climb. So, I don't think there's actually anything else I can do here. So I need to pull that lever to activate this platform. I need wall climb to get up to it. And actually, I can't even get anywhere from here. I guess I might as well fall down, because nothing else I can do. Ow. And as you can see, we have another one of these bell enemies. This one causes these bells to, um, to emit an attack every time he shakes the bell. And that is it. So I guess we're done with Blasphemous for now. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get to the Priadio Shrine here so that I can skip that skip so that I can just start from here next time. Uh, but without Wall Climb, there's not really a whole lot I can do. So unfortunately, I didn't get to test the, uh, the spikes. And actually, I'm stuck down here anyway. I have to save exit to get out of here. Uh, so the only thing I haven't done that's in logic is the 50,000, which I could grind for. I'm not going to. 
So that's it for Blasphemous. Uh, we will be back here once I have more progression items. And actually, before we finish, let's... Um... Or not. I was going to say, uh, let's hint something. I forgot that it does that. That's fine. I don't think there's anything on my desktop that's uh, incriminating or anything like that. Uh, so let's just drag this over here then. Um, hint wall climb. Wall climb ability. Sure, we'll go with that. Hint wall climb ability. Is that live premium or die 721 coins? Well, I guess uh, we're not getting that anytime soon. Darn it. Not doing very well with my uh, my hints here. I need 45 locations to check. I've currently got 17, so I've got a ways to go before I get my next hint. All right, so uh, that will be uh, everything for now. Back once we have more ability to make progress. I will see you then.